First of all, I want to say congratulations to the National Council on Substance Abuse for batting so well so far on a wicket that is very difficult to use a cricketing analogy. You've reached your quarter of a century, so you're doing well on your way to that century. But more importantly, I want to say that I embrace the programs of the National Council on Substance Abuse because I've been around nearly twice as many years as the existence of this organization. And I've had reason to interact with this organization over time in the promotion of its programs, its drug awareness programs across this country among our young people, among the schools, among the churches, among the communities in this country. NCSA is like an oasis in a desert, and the desert is Barbados. Barbados being a country where too many of our young people, their lives have been adversely affected, and in many cases destroyed by drug abuse and drug addiction. So I want to embrace and congratulate and identify with the work of this organization, which is so, so necessary in this country. And the NCSA also is like uh, a gatekeeper at the gates of hell, so to speak, to deter mm -hmm. people from entering mm -hmm. those gates and be destroyed sometimes forever. The National Council on Substance Abuse, I also want to recognize the work in their mission because one of the tenets of their mission is to facilitate the development and growth of those organizations involved in the treatment and rehabilitation process. So, NCSA, you have my full support. I endorse, I embrace everything that you do, and I want to say thanks to those professionals among you who go out every day to make Barbadians aware of the dangers of drug abuse in this country. And thanks to the skillful and professionalism of your staff, their commitment, their dedication, their passion for this work. I want to say, I do not envy your work. It is awesome, it is necessary, it is relevant. Congratulations, you all, the National Council on Substance Abuse. May your work continue throughout this country for the benefit of our future generations.